Hi, I'm Lewis Jones, an application specialist with Lamaki USA. Today, I'll show you some examples of how to elevate a common application for sign and graphics, a backlit poster. Backlit signage typically starts with white translucent material over a light source, but I'll be showing you a different method you can use to get the same effect on clear media with our UV roll-to-roll -roll printer, the UJV100. All you'll need is clear media, Aramaki white ink, and layering and rasterize. I'll also touch on some tips and tricks I use to control the amount of ink being used in a print. Let's get printing. All right, to start, I'm going to make a file. I'm going to start in Photoshop and make sure that my background image has the right levels. Using the levels window, I'm going to use the ink dropper to select a bright area of the image and adjust that to be the brightest part of my image. Now this does change around the colors a little bit, but that doesn't matter. The most important thing when making a backlit poster for me is the intense whites and the intense darks on an image. So I really want some very bright areas, some almost white parts of the poster, and I want some blacks on the poster. So as long as I'm getting those intense contrasts, I should be good to go on my final image. So even in this section, I'm adding in some other uh, tech graphics. All of them are going to be white, and those are really going to pop when the light is shining behind it. The white graphics that I'm adding will be intensified in my final image when there's a light shining behind it. Uh, same goes for the white text I'll be adding in later. So I actually have three posters ready to go here and instead of printing and cutting on one of our plotters, I'm going to be hand cutting this from the material that's printed on. So I'm going to add in a cut reference line. My final image I want to be 36 by 48. So I've increased the overall artboard to 36.5 by 48.5 and now I'm making a box that is exactly 36 by 48, centering that, making it just a stroke white line on the image and centering that. Final print, that line will be my cut line. Excess can be shaved off. So now that I've moved on to rational length, the very first thing I'm going to do to get my file ready is make a special plate. It's going to be a white plate that's going to actually go on top of my uh, final image. The image is going to print the art file and then a layer of white on top of that. Because it's printing in that reverse order, I want to make sure my artwork is reversed when I'm compositing it in the composite section here. Then I'm going to move on to the quality tab. And in this section, I'm going to be choosing the resolution. I'm also in this section going to be increasing the pass count from 12 to uh, 16. I'm also going to be adding in an overprint of two. Uh, I'll then move over to the color adjust section and I'm going to make a new preference and start tweaking the levels of the ink that's going to be put down. I'm going to be adding in more uh, of the whole ink section and the white ink section. 
I'm doing all of this because when I'm making backlit signage like this, I really want the most amount of ink being put down, especially the white ink. Uh, this might feel like your final, final product is a little bit saturated or a little dark. The final light being shown through in the end will offset any of that. So I typically like a lot of ink being put down for this process. It was also why I added in as many white highlights as possible when I was making the original art file. So here's an example of why I added in so much ink for my final image. On the left is the print I'm trying to get, really crisp colors, dark. The right is almost translucent and it's really going to mess up your final image when the light is being shined behind it. See the whites on the, when you flip the image on the back, you'll see the white on the right is what I'm trying to get. The final product should almost look like you're printing on white material. One of the benefits of printing in reverse with this method is that the ink should all be at the bottom of your print. This translucent material will be the top. People coming by and touching this print, they should only feel the material while well, your artwork is safe behind it. And even though this was printed with matte UV inks, the material is giving off a glossy finish to your image.